Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to reflash the JG Aurora A5 updated printer. We're going to update it even more. So, the first thing we need to do is, as I show up over here, we need to plug in a host USB cable into the JG Aurora printer. Now, you do not have to turn the printer on itself because what will happen is through this host adapter, it will power the uh, AT Mega board that's inside of the printer from the USB power source to the computer. So now that we've done that, we've connected that, we're going to need to jump into the computer. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to show you a couple different things. All right. So, in the computer, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to know our uh, COM port. So, as you can see here, we're on COM3. And so, the CH340 is the chipset we're talking to inside or on the board of the AT Mega 2560. So, now that we know this piece of information, what we've needed to have done already is actually have downloaded, and I'll have the link down below to the actual uh, source code of the Marlin update that we're going to flash to this. Now, I have this on my local drive here, and I've gone into the Marlin file, as we can see up here, and I've searched for and I've found the project file and you'll notice that it's uh, the this icon right here this indicates that it's an Arduino sketch file so what I'm gonna go ahead is I'm gonna click on this and go ahead and start the Arduino interface now you'll need to have the latest Arduino interface on your machine now don't worry if you're a Windows 10 user it's actually in the Windows 10 App Store the Windows App Store uh, if not I'll provide a link down below where you can go to the actual Arduino website download it install it now with this installed one of the things that I, I want to show you guys is by clicking on the check mark here we're going to do a test compile now what's going to happen in this test compile is it's going to fail and this is an important piece because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get past this failure is the piece we're going to go back down here and look at is we're going to scroll down and we're going to see or sorry scroll up we're going to see that our failure is actually a missing library and that library is actually UAGLib and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here to sketch um, we're going to go to include libraries we're going to go to manage libraries and then what's going to happen is that's going to pull up our library tab now you're going to want to have over here under type all and then you're going to go want to go to filter and then here what you're going to do is want to go uh, U8G lib and then what's going to do is pull up several of these you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to install the last one here so if we look at more information now we're going to want the newest version so the newest version as the making of this video is 1.19.1 and we're going to go ahead and click install and it's going to go ahead and install this library for us as you can see all right so once this is done we're going to hit close now again we've just did a test compile not connected to anything so we have not connected to the actual printer itself so to do this what we're going to need to do is go down here to port so as you see port is selected already as com3 so this is going to be you're going to want this to be the port in your device manager the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to boards so in this case the board is an arduino mega or mega 2560 so this is selected uh, and then we're going to lastly have to go here to processor type and this is going to be the AT Mega 2560 so I'm going to select that now everything is now selected what I'm going to do is I'm going to again do a test compile to make sure everything is correct since we've downloaded uh, the library and you can see down here in the lower right corner how this is going through now this can take a minute or so to do the compile I like doing test compiles before flashing just to make sure everything's okay because as you saw you know there was a bit of an error now depending upon the speed of your computer this might take a little while to go through so don't worry so long as no errors are showing up down below you're you're actually good to go so let's go ahead and let this sketch compile after that little commercial break we're back here again and as you can see the sketch compiled successfully so this is a good thing so our libraries installed we know our code and our directories are all good so now it's time to actually upload this to the machine so how we're we gonna upload this to the machine 
we're just going to click the upload button, this upload button with the little arrow. So we're going to go ahead and click it. Now, what's going to happen, a lot of the same stuff that we saw before when we did the test compile on the machine is going to happen all over again. But now, this time, it's going to be compiled here, but then what happens is once this is compiled, it's going to be uploaded to the uh, JG Aurora uh, A5 printer, to the uh, AT Mega uh, 2560 that's in there. So this is going to take a little bit of time because we're going to have to go through the compile process. We're going to have to go through the hex upload or the upload process of the binary file to the uh, Arduino. So this could take a little bit. Don't get too upset. And actually because we pre-compiled, actually it moved along pretty quick. So as you can see, we've now changed from compiling to uploading. So I don't... Does this give a percentage? No. I don't see it giving a percentage. Uh, but what's happening is this could take a while because this is a rather big file. So tell you what, let's go ahead and let's fast forward. Okay, so now we're back. It took several minutes to do the upload, so uh, don't become too impatient. It can take, depending upon the speed of your computer and other things, uh, a couple minutes to do. So just relax, let it go through, and then you should see a message like you see on the screen, done uploading, and you're good. So tell you what, um, I think we're finished in the computer. Let's head over to the actual printer for a minute and see how it all works. So here we are back. We're now printing with the Marlin firmware on the JG Aurora. I, I already like it. A um, couple of things you'll notice is the homing is a bit better than the stock um, JG Aurora firmware. And also, I don't know if you noticed, before it was leaving long, a long trail and it's no longer doing that with the filament. So I, I think there's a number of different advantages of this. And I'm really waiting to see. I'm going to run some more tests. And I'm going to do a whole episode probably on the Marlin firmware. But anyways, one of the things I do want to mention uh, before closing this video out is the CH340 driver, USB driver for this. Uh, the, the, the CH340 basically is, is a knockoff um, UART driver, if you will. I'm not going to get into all the details of it. But if you're having problems connecting and it's showing that you, know, you see the device but don't have a device driver for it, I'll have a link down below for the CH340 driver. So make sure that that driver is installed so it can see this and uh, hopefully you won't have any problem. Also, do take care. Uh, flashing a, a printer, again, I've shown you how to do it. There can be bumps in the road, so be very, very careful uh, when doing it. Make sure you follow all the steps. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. Don't forget the swag shop up in the corner. Hit me up with comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.